Hi guys, welcome to another video. A little while back I did a video on how to add weight to script lettering in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be doing a similar sort of thing today but we're going to be using Illustrator brushes to achieve the same sort of effect. It's quite limiting but it's fairly easy to get the hang of it um, and you can be quite creative. So uh, let's get into the video. So in Illustrator uh, I've already pre-drawn this single weight letter L. What panels we only open is the brush panel and the stroke panel. And then first up, we're going to make a brush. So select the uh, circle tool, draw an oval down the bottom, quite thin, making sure it's a black fill, no stroke. Then direct selection tool, select both ends because you want to uh, make them a corner. So you go to convert, click on selected anchor points into a corner. Now go back to the, just the general selection tool drag it into your brushes panel and bring up this uh, new brush dialog box select art brush from this drop down okay that call it what you want leave everything else as it is stretch fit strength length and then okay now what we want to do is uh, copy and paste an area of the path that we want to apply that brush to so direct selection tool again or a on the keyboard gonna highlight that center bit and then we're going to go to edit copy, edit, um, either paste in place or paste in front. And it will paste it over the top of the path that's already there. And then we can just click on to the brush and apply it to us, apply it to that area. And we can just sort of increase the weight if you want it thicker or thinner. And we can have some fun that with that as well. So if you duplicate that um, brush we just made or just the shape we just made, uh, again, uh, Command C, Command Paste in front. Holding down the Alt key, just make this shape. Let's zoom in. Holding down the Alt key, drag it downwards. We'll make a, a thinner version of that shape and color it in white, so it sort of runs through the middle there. Select both of those, drag them into your brush tool again, panel again, Art brush again. Okay, call it what you want. Leave all the others as they are. Okay, that. So now when we apply this uh, to that um, part of the path, it gives us like this cool dual stroke effect. It does have its limitations, especially if you want to move these paths around. Um, but it's just a, a, another way that you can add weight to your lettering. There you go, guys. I hope you found that useful. Uh, like always, please leave any questions in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.